In this video I'm going to demonstrate Soft Windows 95 running in IRIX. I'm going to start Soft Windows 95. And it loads just like it would on a PC. The first game that I'm going to demonstrate to you here is the original Diablo game. Sorry about the size of the screen, but this was the resolution that we used to play games in back in the day. You can see that it's messed with my gross OS view. Okay, so I'm going to start as a single player. I'll create a new hero. Okay. I'm going to first demonstrate the performance of the game in the town and then from there how the game performs in the dungeon. But as you can see the performance that you're getting here is pretty much in line with what you would have got from a machine such as a Pentium 100 back in the day. So as far as Diablo goes I would say its performance is pretty damn good when running it under soft Windows 95. I'm just going to kill one or two skeletons down here just to show you how the system performs. And there we go, you can see it's pretty fluid the play. The mouse cursor moves nicely. So the game's pretty fluid. Okay, and that covers my demonstration of Diablo. I'm now going to demonstrate Doom 2 to you, so that you compare how it ran in DOSBox. Okay, I'm going to start a new game. Okay, so the interesting thing here is it seems to be skipping quite a few frames. The game itself is barely playable as it is here because you just skip too many frames as you move. So I'm just going to try and shoot these guys. So, I would say although it doesn't run quite as well, or it doesn't seem to run quite as fast in DOSBox, it's far more playable. It's far smoother. Whereas here you just seem to be skipping way too many frames. Okay, I'm going to get out quickly. It's going to show you the amount of movement that you get forward with one press of a button. So the forward arrow key that's pushing the button once. So you notice that you tend to jump around quite a bit. So I wouldn't advise playing a game such as Doom 2 in Soft Windows 95. Okay, another interesting feature that the software does have is that it automatically scales the size of the screen um, up until a certain point so that's the maximum window size but you can scale the size of the window screen on the fly another interesting feature that it does have 
is if you exit, you can ask it to create a turbo start data file, which is pretty much like putting the machine into Hibernate as you would have on a PC. The only thing is this is saved to disk. It allows you to start it quickly the next time. So I'm going to quickly start it again. And there it comes up almost instantly. Okay, and this covers my demonstration of Software Windows 95. Thanks for watching.